What's up everybody, it's Skid. This is going to be a video for Star Wars Racer Revenge for the PS2. I'm going to be commentating it while I play. Now I remember quite a bit about this game. Most of it good, some of it not so good. And everyone really liked my Bounty Hunter game play video I made, so I'm going to make a video about this game. So, uh, let's go. Oh uh, yes, we have the classic hero of the universe, Otherkin Manstalker. We have what I'm assuming is like a decaying Thanksgiving turkey. And uh, if you're wondering why there's not any music, it's because I don't want John Williams to strangle me, so I've got the music turned off. I'm introducing the scariest fucking thing I've ever seen. I don't know what the fuck that creature's supposed to be. I'm gonna skip that. And here's, uh, Space SpongeBob, I'm assuming, busting out a move. Next. And, uh, this is, like, a mutated Perry the Platypus. But that pod racer is actually in the Star Wars Bounty Hunter game, sitting in the corner of the room during a boss fight. And I noticed that, so that's a cool little detail. And let's see who's next. Uh, yes, Colonel Dildo Hat. I remember this man well. I used to play him a lot, but I don't remember why. Whoa! Okay, never mind. I recall now. It's because he had that sick ass dance move he popped off. Look at that shit. Look at the flexibility, the pose, the power, the control, the focus. Let's see one more time. Alright, that's enough. So I think that's probably going to play. I think this guy had dance move that he did too, let's see it. That's not it. And, oh, hey, hey, hey Macarena. Alright, so, that's his dance move. Never played as him. And there are a lot of locked racers, but you can still see their silhouettes. And uh, most of them were in the movie, I think. Well, there's Malhonic. I guess that guy should be my rival. There's the kangaroo bitch from Titan AE. I don't know what that abomination is. I, actually, wait. It looks like the robot from Treasure Planet when he walks. Maybe it is. It's another weird, emaciated anteater creature. That guy got fucked over by Sebulba in the movie. Don't know anything about that guy. And uh, it's good they're giving Cthulhu a spot here in the game. I like to see that representation. And finally, probably the coolest racer of all of them, Sebulba. And uh, this guy undoubtedly has the coolest sound effect on his pod racer. And we're back here at the beginning again. Like I said, I think I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with that one guy that was busting out splits. You know this guy. I think I'm gonna play is this one. Another cool little detail is you can see your pod racer hanging up in the background in this workshop where Wado will spit space bullshit at you, and you can upgrade your stuff. So that's cool. My purpose is to kill, to kill is my purpose. I'm in this race only to slap. Live to slap, slap to live. And I think I see the first victim of my slappage, and that will be Otherkin Manstalker. Get back here. Even if you survive this race, Anakin, you'll only be going to another battlefield. After all, isn't life just a big race anyway? And he has eluded me. Alright, regret giving him that big ass speech there to help him cope with his own demise. Oh, and it seems he's come back for revenge. He's tried to hidden strike me. But I smell blood in the water. I've got exhaust in my mouth. I'm coming for you, bitch. And that's all she wrote. Chosen one my ass. Chosen to eat my dust. Alright, Quadraneros, I'm going to teach you the meaning of pain in profound new ways. Now, a lot of modern critics will criticize this game for its meager graphics, stupid AI, and soundtrack of only, like, one or two Star Wars songs. But I think at the heart and soul of this game, it teaches us something far more valuable. And that is the value of slapping other people for our own enjoyment. And really, what is greater than that? Oh, uh, I smell blood in the water once again. I'm coming for you, Ben Quadraneros. Prepare to live, relive the Phantom Menace. You're gonna have phantom pains from this. Damn it. You know what, Quadrinos, I've fisted a lot of myself and beaten a lot of other racers, and both of those two things are gonna happen to you! Damn it. You will not escape me. I'm as tenacious as I am, Horny. And here he comes. The Haymaker! Got him. Alright. My thirst for blood is satiated. The Twi'lek people welcome us to Ryloth, where the planet's rotation has created two vastly different regions, one of perpetual light and one of perpetual darkness. Now, judging by the blinding sun overhead, I'd have to say we're in the Brightlands.
And it's hot out here, folks. Worse than Tatooine. Luckily, we're in the coolest region of the Bright Lands, so hopefully our racers won't overheat too quickly. Strange territory, but perfect for a pod race. Be sure to watch for the Great Tusks, one of this area's most well-known features. And then it's out to the Crater Sea, where we're sure to see some great combat action. So hold on tight. By the mustache of Chef Boyardee, I will win this race. Oh, boogity, 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 boys, it's time to go racing. And everyone's just scraping up against each other, rubbing's racing, trading some paint. What's even the point of wearing clothes anymore? I just cannot fucking stay on the path here. This entire map looks like a giant schmore. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go the path less traveled. I'm gonna be a trailblazer. Now, uh, I'm not really gonna go for any executes, KOs, whatever they call them in this game, because it's really fucking difficult. It's like trying to fist an unwilling rhinoceros with the peg leg of Blackbeard himself. It's just... It's not gonna happen. So, I'm... I'm just, uh... I'm just gonna try and run the course here and win. The track favorite on this place, it says Malhonix, so... Really, there's some high stakes here. My self-esteem is at risk, and that's just who I just smacked into. That chartreuse green fucker right there, yeah. Looks like a fucking crappie lure. Alright, I'm gonna fucking catch up to his ass though. Now I don't really remember this map's layout. Those two Twi'leks right there and the statues look fucking terrifying. They look like some sort of elite gorilla unit. Like if explorers went to the jungle, that's what would go out to meet them. The elite primates. Alright, now uh... Back out here on the track again, I'm in third place, so that's... Oh, never mind, I'll go fuck myself. I dropped back to fourth as soon as I said something. Now third is what I need to progress, but one is what I need to impress all the women. But uh, yeah, as long as I get number three, I can continue on with the next race in the series, but really, what's the fucking point? Alright, now let's see. It's probably a good thing I don't have a pod racer, though. I'd make it like two erect dicks. For engines, that way anyone I slammed into would be getting fucked by me or something. Bitch slap a Yeti and call me Richard Petty, cause I've been out in the lead for a while now, but fucking Dale Senior back here is keep he just fucking bumping into him. He's trying to get into my draft here. I'm gonna fucking pull off some sick shit. I'm gonna pull off maneuvers not seen since the original Cars movie when Mater first went in reverse and shocked the world. I think that guy's name is like Kleeg something, so might very well be dealing with Anakin's adopted father. Now, well, let's see. We'll go through here. I think this is like the pinnacle point of the race. This is lap three. I'm almost there. Almost at the finish line. I can taste victory. Or that might be all the bugs that flown in my mouth. I made it. Yeah. The piston cup is mine. Yeah, look at that right there. Beat him by a whole three seconds. That's unacceptable. His name's Kleeg Holdfast, so maybe that's just like Kleeg Lars's alter ego, but fucking look at that. And then the guy in third place, the track favorite, the whole point 15 seconds behind second, unacceptable. Ridiculous. And there's the man of the hour. I've unlocked Malhonic. It would seem they gave this man's belly jiggle physics. So this game was way ahead of its time, to say the least. So look at that. Alright, so that's it for this video. Remember to rate the video, comment down below, and subscribe. Special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon. And if you have any other Star Wars or old-ass games you want me to play, leave a comment down below. And, uh, yeah. See ya. Oh! Break out of it, break out of it! That. <laughs> Be passive. Passive! Oh, I pulled a gun! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh shit! <laughs> you lucky bitch.